Good evening, folks. I'm all done work for another shift. And I just want to touch base with you for a few minutes here before I go into my home. I, uh, I, um, was listening to some news that came out of Israel from Amir Savardi. Um, he is one of the guys, he has a channel on YouTube called Behold Israel, and he uh, was in the IDF. He is a preacher uh, right now, that's what he does, and uh, he's one of the people that I trust the most when it comes to everything with Israel, because I know he ain't going to lie about anything. <laughs> Anyway, um, today, or yesterday over there, whatever, I don't know the time framing, but um, I guess it was about six hours ago, uh, the IDF did a precision strike on, uh, in Beirut, in, in Lebanon, and took out uh, they assassinated one of the top guys with Hamas. And um, there were seven others that were killed along with him. They were all um, top Hamas officials. It was a precision strike. There were no casualties um no civilian casualties at all this was i can't remember the guy's name uh i wouldn't be able to pronounce it if i could so yeah so tomorrow or um of course his his brala whatever they're um already saying they're going to have repercussions for killing this guy. So beware of what could happen tomorrow. And especially if you live in the U.S. Because uh, they're planning on attacking there. And, you know, um, I hate to say this, but... The U.S. is now taking their big aircraft carrier out of the Mediterranean and basically has told Israel they're on their own, <laughs> which is not going to do good for the U.S. because one of the things that God promises in his word and is um, his word will not come back void is it says that he will bless those who bless Israel and he will curse those who curse Israel. And the present administration in the U.S. right now is, uh, yeah, they're really messing with things. And, you know, uh, it's really frustrating when you see that um, Russia has been at war with Ukraine for since 2020 or whatever, somewhere around there. And no one goes after Putin, <laughs> right? But you got one Jewish nation in the world and they're coming after Israel left, right, and center. And right now, Israel is fighting on seven different fronts. Think about it. People from all around you is coming after you. And what are they only trying to do but um, protect their people, right? Because these people here didn't have to die today if it wasn't for them going in and attacking Israel on October the 7th and killing over 1,200 people and then taking another couple hundred hostages and still has 
140 of those people. The latest thing is uh, Egypt is trying to um, broker a ceasefire deal and they want to release 40 hostages for over 300 people that they captured. <laughs> like how crazy is that? Like uh, go release them so they can come back and murder you again and behead your children and stuff. It's a crazy mixed up world. I, I, I know that they want the people back. I understand that. And if it was my family, I would say, doesn't matter, just go get them. Go get my family. So, it is what it is. But anyway, I just want to say this so that um, you can remember Israel in your prayers tonight and uh, people around the world, right? I think uh, 2024 is going to be a hard year, folks. And uh, don't mean to frighten anyone because I wish nothing but the best for everyone. But I think with the political situation around the world, it is going to be uh, rough, rough seas. <laughs> Anyway, this is Shelly Delint with Shelly Delint Media. Thank you for watching the channel. And please keep Israel and the surrounding people in your prayers. I would deeply appreciate it. Um, it's really cold here. It is minus 15. <laughs> and for those of us who has been like in the pluses and like minus one minus two it's now really cold so i'm gonna bid everyone a good night and take care god bless and we'll see you in tomorrow morning's video take care folks bye bye